And soon, I'll be spending the night at the sleep lab so my doctors can watch me sleep. It's so they can help me sleep better when I'm at home. It'll be at a place called the Vanabelle Sleep Disorders Center. Maybe you'll be doing a sleep study soon too. If you are, here's how you get ready. Vanabelle has three sleep centers. If the person bringing you isn't sure about how to get there or where to park, they can call 615-343-5888 for help. The night before my study, I'm going to try to get a good night's sleep. And you should too. I can't have any drinks with caffeine, like soda, after lunchtime the day before my study. And I'm also not taking a nap, just so I can be extra sleep when I get to the sleep center. Only one adult can stay with me during the study, and my brothers and sister have to stay home. I'm going to bring all the important stuff I need to stay overnight, like my toothbrush, my medicine, comfy pajamas, a blanket or a pillow, my bed, and a book I like, and anything else I need at night when I'm at home. You can pick a few things to bring, too. I'll eat dinner at home before I go, since they don't have any food there. Get to the sleep center at about 7 p.m. We'll go straight to the check-in desk where my mommy has to sign some paper. Then a person from the sleep center is called a check. Will show me my room for the night and talk with me about my study. My caregiver gets to stay with me and my room. There's a bathroom and a TV just for us. The sleep center people will be in another room where I sleep. They'll stay awake all night just in case I need anything. At my normal bedtime, my tech will help me get ready for the study. There are a bunch of wires they have to put on me with stickers and it will take a while, like 30 or 40 minutes. My job is to sit very still. This will help the sleep tech do their best work. The wires will go on my head, my face, my chest, and even my legs. And there will also be something on my finger and a tube under my nose. It's probably going to tickle, but it won't hurt. There's so many wires. When I'm all connected, I might look like a robot. It will probably feel a little funny. Then we'll have to turn off our phones and stuff, and I can finally go to sleep. A camera will record how I'm moving in my sleep. If a wire comes off, my tech will put it back on for me without waking me up. In the morning, we'll be getting up early, as that we have to leave by 7 a.m. I have to take all those wires back off. It's probably going to feel sticky. Good thing we have a shower in our room to clean up. My doctor will help me go over all the information they got from those wires. She will let my caregiver know what happened in about three weeks. And that's it. I'm going to try hard to have a good sleep study, and I hope you will too.